off to Castle Acre. Had a bit of a drama this morning. We set off, and the last thing you asked me before we set off was, where's the barrier key? Yeah. And uh, we looked everywhere for it, spent about half an hour looking for it, and couldn't find it. It actually dro dropped between the, um, the sofa, uh, so like the sofa unit, and the kitchen side of the kitchen and it was in a little pocket at the bottom of this tiny little gap so there's no way we're going to get it out so we had to uh, get a barrier card replacement key it was 10 pounds 10 pounds but if we can retrieve it we can have our money back can't we yeah but i don't if we can. i think i'll need a very very long pair of tweezers yeah that are very narrow yeah but I don't think I'm going to get it back. Anyway, that's the drama for So that's made it a little bit late, but apparently we can arrive any time during the allotted hour. Yeah. And uh, so we can arrive any time between 10 and 11, which is just as well because it's quarter 10 now. Yeah. Yeah, so that was fun. Um, a very nice thing happened this morning as well. Uh, a couple opposite watch our videos. Michael and Angela and uh, Angela came rushing out with a bottle of Merlot for us. Which so, is very nice, isn't which, it? Which is very nice. Yeah, isn't it? yeah. And uh, we'll enjoy that a little bit later. So thanks thank for that. Yeah, much appreciated. Yeah, thank you very much. Yeah. Right, onwards. Yep. Just catch up with you a little bit later. So I forgot to film the bit coming into Swaffham, but. Uh, now turn right. This is the other route that so uh, we could have come the, from Sandringham. Through the and town. I thought yeah. that's not a good idea. So I think it's quicker actually, probably the way we came than yeah, it's you know, the traffic the lights here. And, yeah, yeah. And queues and people turning and yeah. usual sort of town stuff. Yeah, because you're going right through the town centre. It's not here, is it? Yeah, it's here. Oh, God. We won't be able to come this way in the van, will we? It's six foot six wide. Is it six foot six yeah. width restriction? Yeah. That seems to be slowing down. No. It's alright, you should drive through the hedge if we, it's not enough room, isn't it? Yeah, six foot six width restriction. It's an old three hundred yards, there left. This is an old lane, isn't it? A sunken lane. Mm. I mean the old roads of the castle, wasn't it? Yeah. Imagine um, Henry the Third, was it? Came here and uh, Edward the First. Yeah. Then come along here with. Now bare left. And come along in their VW up. <laughs> no access to village via Bailey Gate for HGVs. Okay. Yeah, there's a bit, there's a gate, isn't there? Back you are approaching a crossroad. The crossing road is your destination. Thank you. A very robotic voice, isn't it? I always <laughs> thought that. Like Marvin the Paranoid Android. <laughs> yeah, move over. Oh, I remember this. Do you remember it? Yeah, I remember yeah. it now. We did come in here in the van. We came here in the uh, Starfire. Yards, yeah. You will reach a crossroad. The crossing road is your destination. Thank you. We didn't come up here, surely, did we? I'm not sure. I don't remember yeah. the gate. Remember the gate? I think you'd be better coming in the other way, though, wouldn't you? There's the width restriction. Heights okay. Yeah. No, we didn't come this way. I think we came into the. So we want to go towards the castle, don't we? Yeah. This doesn't seem right, does it? It's down this lane then. 
Which lane? This lane this here? This lane here, Pies Lane. It'll cut me down here, can it? Are you sure? Yeah. Obviously it is. That was easy to miss. I think we parked in the centre of the village last time. Yeah. I'm in the van. Yeah. It's right. trouble as I'm struggling to see anything in the sun. Quite bright and low, isn't it? Yes, here then. Someone else is keen to get out. Not sure where to go at the moment. Anyways, plenty of parking. Right. I'm not sure if this is the way we should be going, but... Right. It's quite an amazing place, isn't it? what it would have looked like. So as in its final form this castle was a strongly fortified and highly visible fortress at its heart two enclosures a rectangular outer bailey and to the north a smaller circular inner bailey uh, set within rings of banks which you can see ahead of you. Two baileys and a barbican at the fort fortified entrance to the west were protected inside deep ditches always dry as now and by stone curtain walls which substantial traces you can see now castle was never purely military but it served as a base for its laws to oversee justice and administer their estates and entertain royalty of course see the height of the uh, back embankments around here <laughs> oh, it's... You've got a bridge over the moat. I don't think we'll be going up there. No. Might just be a little, little bit of Pevensey. Well, it's Norman, isn't it? It's yeah, I suppose that's why, isn't it? Because it's ex Mott and Bailey, isn't it? Yeah, I think this was where all the, like, the great horn and everything were. In here. Okay. The area was once full of buildings that supported the castle and its community in the Middle Ages. You're standing, if you were standing here 800 years ago, you'd be in the outer bailey of the castle, a bustling area full of stables, workshops, and storehouses. In the centre, you can see a large rectangular earthwork that marks the position of the Great Hall. You were right, that was the Great Hall. That's where the community dined and court hearings took place. At the eastern end of the hall was a chamber block. You can also see further earthworks in in indicating a separate kitchen stood here. Between the hall and the inner bailey was another building, possibly the chapel. Surrounding the whole area is an enclosure of ditches and high banks, originally capped with stone walls, and you can see fragments of these today. Yeah. So it says this is the upper ward gatehouse, late 11th century. You can go all the way 
up there. Let's have a look at the sign here first. Okay. Great tower. So this is known as the inner bailey and the stone walls you see here are the mains of the keep or the tower of the castle. Excavations of this area revealed unexpectedly that the first building finished by William de Warren around the eight 1080s was a lightly fortified grand country house of two storeys rather than a castle. This suggests that it was built as a residence more than a stronghold. You can see what's left of this original building immediately in front of you. If you go inside and look up to the left you can see the remains of a fireplace. So anxious about the threat of civil war in the mid 12th century William de Warren's descendants decided to enhance the, defen the defences. It became large and more defended with thick walls and these are the more substantial remains you can see today yeah so this development of this castle from country house to great fortress is unique in england it's normally the other way around isn't it yeah. William de warren yeah came over with william the conqueror didn't he fought with him yeah that's why he was given these lands because they were Saxon lands to begin with. Yeah, originally, yeah. Yeah. You see how thick the it walls were. That's a well, isn't it? There? Yeah. All right, pops, come on, we'll go and have a look. Good, she says. Yeah, you can see the massive thickness of them. So this would have been the tower there then. Yeah, I mean those walls are about five feet, five feet thick. Oh, yeah. And the inside of the of the tower. That's yeah, you. I don't. Well, that that was out there, wasn't it? So. Because it looks like the remains of a door there, but might be imagining it. Um, I think I'm imagining it. So obviously holes for where the floors would have been. Yeah. Let's see if we can find this fireplace. Unless it was over Is there. there. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. What an amazing place. Could have been a hearth there, couldn't there? Yeah, yeah. in the fireplace then. Yeah. The well there. Yeah. We go up the top. Go on then, pups. You can choose. Go on, up we go. Ooh. Dip there, watch yourself. Yeah, as you get higher, you can see the extent of the place, can't you? It is huge. <laughs> first curtain wall. Always the thing with these uh, castles is you had a good view of what was coming around didn't you? Yeah. So you can see for miles from here. All right pups we're coming. Let's have a look up here pups. Now you can see how high you are. Go on. Was that a, 
another entrance. Got a good view of the road here. Yeah. So this was the second curtain wall, around about 11.50. I mean that tower would have had to be quite high to be visible Over above the these walls. Was, yeah. the size of some of the flints in there. Dragonfly there. Oh, won't stand still long enough. It's a long way down there. Go on then. <laughs> ah, if you can hear me above the jets. This is effectively part two of the video. Uh, we've been round the Priory, which will be in a separate video. Yeah. Uh, so we've had some lunch. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to have a little look around the outer walls of the castle. This, because this is absolutely huge. Yeah. And I think we said, well, you won't have seen it yet. I think we said visit the Priory first. That's why we've come back to the castle to have a second look round. Let's go and have a look. So I think it said on that board over there that that's where all the uh, sort of houses would have been, the Great Hall and yeah, that sort of thing. The foundations of the Great Hall are over there, I think. I think in the video I saw last night, so it's unusual to see foundations like that uh, still about. Normally they've sort of been buried a long time ago. Yeah. Yeah, because you can just about see the raised part of it. Ground's a bit uneven here, but yeah, you can see it. And Poppy ably demonstrates. They <laughs> <laughs> can shoot down this side. Yeah. Yeah. So this, presumably, this is the outer wall, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, I'll watch your step here. It's all right, Poppy. <laughs> There's a bit of a dip there. It's all right. There. Yeah. It would have been even more impressive with a great big tower at the back there. Yeah, yeah. So that's what the tower would have looked like there, and that's what would have been in the inner bailey and the inner bailey defences. Yes. Yeah, I think I think that's going through history. That's how it would have been originally. originally yeah. yeah, and that's how it was when they finished building it. Okay, with the tower in it. Yeah, eleven sixty-five. Right. So that's ten seventy. Okay. When it was just a like a modern bailey. Okay. So it was just would have been just that there, wouldn't it? Yeah. 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 That's what they did, didn't they, the Normans, when they first came over? Gave someone some land, yeah. and they put up what was called a, a Motton Bailey, Bailey yeah. castle, and it was often wooden. Yeah, and obviously they built all these ditches around it afterwards. Yeah, built this afterwards, yeah. Yep. Go on the bottom. Mind that dip there. Pops. Pops, we're not going that way. I think we'll sure, Shall we see if we can do it, Pops? Come on now. Mm. 
there's the town behind you can see the church over that way is the priory somewhere yeah, perhaps. yeah the priory is over there somewhere do now is get down Poppy come on I'm gonna try and get down then go on pups come on I won't film this bit in case I end up on my bum videoing you. <laughs> yeah, it's not a good idea going up there. I thought I thought there might be a path down. It was yeah. really easy enough getting up. Yeah. But my goodness. No, I've, I, I I'm to, worse coming down something, so if I can't see it's easy to come down. That is really steep. We're going to have a look in there, Pops. Look, we're have a look in there. What's that all about? No, well, you don't like that. No? I think we said, don't they? Uh, the William de Warren. Yeah, well, that's what it would have looked like. In 1200. Yeah, very impressive. So all those buildings, you know, we saw the sort of like the raised bit. Yeah. Those. Yeah. Just looking at that uh, thing there, that's from the Bayou Tapestry. It shows Norman Knights at the Battle of Hastings. William de Warren was among the cavalry at the battle and was later described as it by a medieval chronicle, chronicler as warlike, fierce in spirit, strong in body and distinguished in fame. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. And pretty rich. Yeah. He was the Earl of Surrey. I made the Earl of Surrey. Yeah. Yeah, by the early 14th century it had fallen out of favour and become a ruin. Oh. Yeah. It stayed at the castle throughout the 13th century, but by the 14th century it had fallen out of favour and became a ruin. Okay. Shame. So it wasn't William the Conqueror that destroyed it, it just fell into ruin? Oliver Cromwell. What did I say? William the Conqueror. <laughs> <laughs> no, so it's... There's it's another there's another person who beat people up. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was already a room and he didn't need to do any more. No. So now that's it for this video. So uh, if you enjoyed it, give us a thumbs up. We've had a terrific time today. And, uh, the weather's been pretty good. good yeah. got, got warmer as the day's gone on. And uh, watch the other part of this video, which will be Castle Acre Priory. So uh, if you hit the notifications icon, you'll get a notification when that's released. So thanks for watching. See you soon. <laughs>